So I've gotten some questions about this guitar that I am uh, selling on uh, on Reverb and uh, also have listed on Craigslist right now. Um, this is an old uh, this is an old K archtop. Um, hard exactly to date, but I'd say that this is probably from the uh, this is probably from like the late fifties, maybe mid sixties era K. Uh, and uh, it's got a number of things going for it uh, uh, in terms of you know value for what you're getting. Um, number one, this guitar has already had a neck reset. Um, I did this neck reset, you know, a little while back. Um, and uh, I also refretted this guitar with uh, stainless steel frets. I installed a uh, new bone nut uh, and a fitted a, a new bridge uh, to this guitar. And so it's, uh, it's, it's got it where it counts. Um, it uh, basically with with buying old uh, K's and harmonies, it's it's very very common to run into things that need a neck reset, need brace repairs, um, need new nuts and all of this stuff. It's kind of like buying an old car. Like if you buy like the five hundred dollar, uh, you know, uh, uh, Ford Falcon, you know, you're going to be getting something that needs you know new brakes, a head gasket, and you know this that and the other thing. And you know if you buy the you know you know, six, you know, sixty thousand uh, dollar car. You know, maybe you're getting something that actually works. This is sort of like the latter. So, you know, in this in this case, you'd be buying a guitar that's uh, that's got all of the good qualities of of having a vintage guitar without having like all of the work needed to go through to restore that instrument to reliable playability. This one is going to be a reliable instrument, um, you know, for years and years to come. And uh, you know has been spocked out and set up and just plays beautifully. Um, it's got great tone. It's got a lot of projection, a lot of volume, um, and you know it's still got it's still got an ability to be uh, real gentle and nice. Uh, it's got a pretty warm tone for uh, you know for a big arch top guitar. Um, and it's got a gorgeous finish on it. This thing is in, is in uh, great condition, uh, and uh, you know just looks and plays awesome. Um, I think that this is probably uh, one of the better sounding, uh, one of the better sounding arch tops that I've had come through the shop, in terms of stuff that I've sold. Of course, um, you know, you could, uh, if you were inclined, uh, turn this into uh, kind of an electric rig too um, by installing a, you know, pickup up here. If you're in the Seattle area and you'd like me to install the pickup, I could absolutely do that. Um, and, uh, you know, there are certain spots on here that I'd recommend installing electronics. Um, a number of people have contacted me about this guitar and said, you know, well, I'm not interested in if it doesn't have a pickup in it. And I'm just like, well, you know, if you buy it, I'll install the pickup. All you just need to do is pick up the pickup and I'll install it. Usually with the guitars that I sell here, I'm willing to work with customers in terms of like what they want at the end of the day, because I'd rather somebody go out of here and be like super thrilled about the instrument that they picked up instead of, yeah, you know, I liked it, but, um, just because this is my primary gig, this is basically all I do for a living, um, and uh, you know, I, I, you know, I am in this for a little bit for the money. I have to pay rent and stuff, but I, I got into this more to, you know, to restore old instruments like this and bring them up to playing condition, and you know, get really cool instruments in the hands of really cool players. So, um, you know, I'm more than happy to work with work with somebody who picks this up if they want the setup changed, if they you know, need different strings on it or whatever. Right now I have this strung with the Diodario EJ-16s, which are like kind of a standard, you know, middle of the road, um, but stable and reliable acoustic phosphor bronze string. Um, you know, very common to want these set up with uh, uh, flat wound strings uh, if you're going kind of the jazz direction and kind of more, uh, you know, uh, jangly strings if you're going with more of like the... Uh, you know, folk punk street performer type uh, type sound, but this can handle either of those very very well. Just maybe need some adjustments to the setup. The setup as it is right now, though, I have this um, I have this action set down 
nice, nice and low. There's no buzzing, um, and uh, you know the frets uh, on this guitar are just you know cherry. I'm very meticulous about the fret work that I do. I'm very picky about it, and I've done a lot of fret work. Um, so these frets look gorgeous, and they and they play so nicely. Uh, and uh, you know there's no no sharp edges, and and uh, you know they're they're uh, completely level on top, and uh, you know we don't run into any issues with that. Um, the only thing that I'll say about this guitar in terms of stuff that I uh, wish were different about it, um, when I did this, this was uh, probably one of my uh, first, um, you know, two or three neck resets um, years and years back um, that I did this neck reset, uh, and I kind of wish that I had shimmed under the tongue. Uh, the access to the frets above the body is just a little bit harder than it should be just because of that, that lack of shim, but you can still get up there. Um, probably uh, this guitar would be better in the hands of somebody who's mostly going to be playing down here with it, though. Um, just my personal two cents, if I'm being honest here. So, anyway, um, not exactly sure what the model on this guitar is. I haven't really bothered to sit down and go through um, go through catalogs and stuff. There's not there's nothing written in this guitar, which is kind of common for old K's. A lot of them didn't have serial numbers. A lot of them didn't even have model numbers. This is one of the ones that doesn't have either of them. And so, um, you know, the age on this guitar, I'm going off just by my experience and, you know, looking at the finish and looking at the hardware that, I, that I'm looking at on here and, you know, everything else. Um, and, uh, um, yeah, uh, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty great guitar. I mean, Uh, it's got a wider, it's got a bigger neck on it, so, you know, like old K's and harmonies, this one's got a, uh, this one's got kind of a, a more of a, you know, kind of, uh, meatier neck on the back, uh, which can go one of two ways, either you love it or you hate it, um, the thing that I can say about larger necks is that they tend to be a lot more comfortable, uh, for doing bar chords on, so if you're, if you're a jazz guy and you're, you know, you're sitting here doing all these complex bars all day long, these uh, bigger necks tend to tend to give you a little bit more to grip on. You know, in, in terms of ergonomics, uh, that's just a lot healthier for your hand. Um, if you look at like tools that are designed to be ergonomic, a lot of times they have a lot uh, meatier grips on them, and the reason for that is because our hands like to like to kind of be out a little bit more like this when we're applying pressure to things, as opposed to like you know trying to grab onto little tiny narrow things. Um, you know the smaller necks on like Ibanez guitars tend to be really good for you know doing speed runs and things like that but um, you know for guys who are doing rhythm guitar these meatier necks tend to work out a little bit better um, they're not for everybody some people really don't like them um, I I try to encourage people especially rhythm players and jazz guys to like kind of go after the guitars with the bigger necks just you know for the reasons that I mentioned um, just in that it's probably better for your hands in the long run you'll notice a lot less cramping um, and you know uh, weird sensations and stuff like that if you're if you're grabbing onto a bigger meteor neck doing those bar chords but um, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and I'll play some uh, different styles of stuff on here and you can kind of get a sense of you know where this guitar is at uh, so I'm gonna, uh, let's see yeah uh...
I'm not the best player necessarily. Um, I tend to work on guitars more than I play these days, but. That's this K arch top. Um, if you're interested in this guitar, uh, I do have it listed on Reverb. Um, try to drop a link in the description, and if I still have it, that link will still go to some place where you can buy this guitar. And if it doesn't, um, you know, still get a hold of me because I may have something like this in stock. My stuff here tends to kind of shift in and out. I don't, uh, I don't have any uh, suppliers that I order guitars from. Everything that I get here is from uh, trade or. Uh, once in a while, I'll find something really cool. Um, the guitars that I tend to go after in terms of trade-ins are old busted things because my business model involves taking things that I can buy at the price that they're worth from the customer so that I don't have to, like, play a game of, like, you know, well, how much can I get them to take for this guitar? I just pay them, I pay them what, I'll pay you what the guitar is worth and then actually bring it up to, you know, the standard that I want for selling. Um, and I sell my work basically is how this works. So, you know, if I find a guitar like this um, That needs like brace repairs needs neck reset and stuff, you know, you maybe be talking about the range of like, you know 40 40 to 100 bucks uh, Maybe more than that depending on you know what it is I'm looking at but um, you know by the time I get done with it and all the work is done You know, I'll have something that's you know worth a lot more um, You know, and I can buy from somebody who maybe doesn't want to mess with bringing the guitar up to, you know, to those conditions and I can, uh, I can then, you know, turn around and sell it for, uh, uh, sell it for more than I bought it for, which is how I pay rent here. So anyway, um, yeah, this has been uh, Drew Jones of Drew's Guitar Shop in Seattle, Washington. And uh, if you're interested in this guitar, uh, it'll be in the description. And if you are in the Seattle area and you need any guitar work done, uh, go ahead and give me a call or uh, contact me through my website, also in the description. And uh, we'll see what we can do for you. Thanks.